Hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Bonacle review. And today's the witch is on four of the Avatar sets from 2008. So, we'll go for in little order. For, start with the Light Avatar, or Avatar, actually. Starting out with the trademark character, Tanma. So, first of all, with each Avatar is all of which have about 14 pieces, with the exception of Radiac being about 16 pieces. So, so as for with 14 pieces, is that everything of which is all new, except for the weapons, well, it's most now the feet, which you may think are original Tomamata feet, but of which have a square tip rather than a more rounded tip, like in other times, like before, of course. Because at this time, the ball joints started to have more squared kind of tips to them. But as for but as the arms and legs pieces, also all brand new for this, this year. And same with the body piece. Well, there's two different types of body pieces, which you'll also see in this review. Uh, as you see. But also with them, same with the Fantoka Toa, is have a lot of grade to them, which I'm not sure why that is, but whatever. But as for but also these joints, which which people often complain is they just don't bend in different ways, just like the original Toa Mata sets. And like the arms of which kept in a 90 degree angle. And of course, no armor bits added to them, at least until it did that with the stars in 2010. In the, also, 2008 was first time of having the uh, hand uh, pieces in this kind of way, but just a lot more filled in parts rather than being kind of gappy. But often, but over time, they like ended up having the upper parts cracked off and all. But at least until in with Hero Factory 2.0, they made it more stronger and whatnot. But then for the head switch, if I take off the mask here, is as you can see, it's all translucent yellow, or with the Shalbatorin's cases, a uh, trans orange, of course. But as you can see, and of course it's like the, and of course it has two different. Uh, axle rod connections both in the back and for the mouth of course I'm not sure if my camera picks this up but as you can see it does have some eyes on there kind of similar to most head pieces it's in the masks of which do kind of match up with the Toa Makuda characters that they connect on to and as for and of course the bodies of which do have a lot of uh, pinholes in them, but with one axle hole in the center. But of course, this enables them to connect to the Toa, which you'll see in upcoming Throwback Thursdays. And as for the three Avatoran sets, is have this jetpack piece, which was often used in the uh, 2008 through 9 kind of range sets. And as in, of course, Fantoka Libwa had this on the sides of his arms. Not sure why, but whatever. And if from the back, still quite vacant bare, but with the jetpack kind of filling that in. But also the all the years they were ranged from seven to sixteen, but these are which first time of being about six to sixteen since they were more simple and all. You like the mask of which? Has some grooves in it and some vents and all, and yeah. And of course, kind of cool. And although if you put these masks on Metro heads, they're just quite gappy. But at least these kind of work for these headpieces because they let in a lot of light to them, so you can get the effect of it. Or a light pipe, which I shine a light onto it. Don't know if you can see on camera, but it's 
kind of video in this one. Uh, yeah. So that's about it with Tonamus. And now on to Zolak. See, of which kind of the same stuff for that, but the limb pieces of which are were exclusive and only to him. But see, everyone else has like this kind of like piece and this kind of like piece. But he's the only one to ever have these. Until with Mazika in 2008, or with Mazika in the same year, kind of did have all the same stuff, but a little bit differently. But then 2009, Agori and stars and all kind of recolored them. So it stayed exclusive to him for that long. And as for his mask of which, kind of similar to Fantoka Kopaka's without the scope eye, but at least it does. It's kind of alright for him. And for the... And his weapon of choice, just the Huki's side blades of which... But also used on Metis for but as an axe, but not sure why that is. But besides that, still alright to that. And on to the Shadow Matoran with uh, Tanwa's old friend Gavla. Well, at first Tanwa's good friend until the Shadow Leeches affected her and turned her shadow. Because the Shadow Matoran, why they became evil was, well, didn't choose to, uh, unlike the can. Which did choose that, but they were made to by the Triax pod, of course. Well, Triax pod that came with the Matoran sets and it sucked the light out from them. But as for the Light Matoran, did have, or Av Matoran, did have a lot of gray to them, but they of which the Shadow Matorans have a lot of black to them. So, Gavos, it was mixed with black and dark blue, which is still going for the line. In the mask, just about like Vampras, where it's dark blue mixed with silver, and same headpiece of which, but in trans orange, of course. So, so like by now, or just like with the Toa Mari sets, where all the uh, or all the good guys, which all have uh, trans yellow eyes, and the evil ones have trans orange, of course. But instead of jetpacks, they have the little wings to them. Although it kind of quite low for that, but although the body piece of which is does look kind of punched over, but except this time it's used uh, backwards. But on Photok and a couple others, they used it frontwards like this. So it's probably to make her more hunched and evil, of course. And her as for 14 pieces, the only old piece for her are the uh, Karpar claws. Uh, claws used from a Karpar horse. And the feet, which you may think look like actual Paraka feet, but instead, but except it has two toes rather than three toes, and the socket piece of which is a part of the piece rather than all separate. And also does have a plus hole, or rod, plus rod hole in the back, like, rather than a pin hole in the back. And that is it, Gotham. And last of which is Radiac. Of which, same body piece, but in red, or in black, and the rest is in red, and what bumps them up two pieces is Hey, those how extras for the feet, which hold the uh, Matoran uh, uh, daggers from the Mari line and the light staves from earlier in the line, of course. So kind of crawling around a little. And the mask, oh, which about this does look kind of similar to that of Antroz's, well, since he's Antroz's Matoran. And of course, well, uh, what else? And of course, it's kind of limited amount of articulation, of course. At least until they fix that, 
with Hero Factory 2.0, of course. And so now for the final verdict on these. So overall, these of which are uh, quite good Matoran sets for the time, like where they just had an equal amount of pieces, it, with the exception of Radiac, of course, and all of which did have the same exact kind of limb pieces as each other, but in different colors, of course. But also of separating light and dark, or light and shadow of the two. Like, we were often used to the Torrens being good or independent, of course, but now another three are evil. Oh, of course. And of course, why they have matching masks is to correspond with the uh, Fantoka sets, with the Toamakuda sets at the time, but not so much with the Mystica ones later in the year, of course. So at least they were getting a bit. So at least it gives a slight bit of a young audience to the Insta Bonicle, of course. And so if you still have these sets from back then, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets, then I'd say go ahead and get them. eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.